Since my K-Meow tutorial video, I've had loads of questions about everything PS3 related, whether it's backup managers or whether it's like what do I use or the new 3.56 firmware. So this video is going to be kind of like a roundabout of things. Um, I'm going to start the video. The first half is going to be like where we are in terms of the hacking team. There's been some updates with the whole Sony versus GeoHot thing, and there's been a new firmware release, 3.56. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss that, and we're going to see where we're at with that in the hacking scene. And then the second half of this video is going to be trying to answer the question a lot of you guys have is how do I get the backup manager to work? What do I have to do? What do you use? What works? So hopefully this video will just kind of answer a lot of questions about that and just kind of show off the backup manager. So like I said, I'm going to start off with some updates from the hacking scene. So first off, there was a temporary restraining order issued by Sony to GeoHot. So I'm not actually really sure what this does, whether this means he can't come within a certain distance for their products or what, I don't really know. But that's typically what a restraining order is, like you can't come within so far of someone, whatever. So I don't really know what this does, but it's not good, basically. So. I guess the judge is sort of on Sony's side for the moment, so that's we'll see. You can go ahead and watch my video what I think about this whole thing right here. Go ahead and click that, and I'll take you to that video. And Sony's also been issuing some DMCA takedown notices. Basically, these are things that people, like all the people that own a website, uh, like, like the guy that developed the K Meow, GeoHot.com, you know, stuff like that. Uh, if, if you go to geohot.com, you'll see all his links have been removed. The PS3 keys he had published up top are just now just X's. Like, Sony is not letting him show or link to any of this stuff anymore. So, a lot of the developers have had um, emails from Sony saying that, you know, take this stuff down. You know, I'm sure there's some legal uh, crap behind it. But, yeah, so I guess for the moment, Sony is really winning this thing, which I don't really get how. Uh, what we're doing is perfectly legal. I mean, we're not killing anybody. But whatever, that's that's kind of an update on that for now. We'll see where that goes. But the big thing I want to talk about is 3.56 firmware update because I know um, I've already gotten a bunch of questions. Uh, the 3.56 firmware is not hacked yet, and it's actually harder to hack than people thought it would be. You know, when it first came out, everyone was like, "Yeah, we'll have our custom firmware in no time." You know, they have like the main keys of the PS3, so if you just don't update for two days, you can you know be ready for a custom firmware. However, that's not the case because Sony has actually changed a lot of stuff according to this website here, ps3-hacks.com. I guess the way they sign the packages is different now, so like you really can only um, encrypt and decrypt stuff, but you can't like launch anything. So that's being worked on as we speak, and they said it is going to be harder, so it's going to take some time. So be patient. Uh, if you want your hacks, this is everyone's always asking, you know, can I update because you don't have any PSN access? Well, really, at the moment, it's either you have hacks or PSN access. You know, a week ago, we had both on the same firmware. Now Sony's updated and locks you out of the PlayStation Network. So either you live without online and you have all the hacks you want, or you play online and have no hacks at all. That's pretty much where we stand right now. So that's something you just have to decide for yourself. Me, personally, I love playing Super Mario. I love playing my backups and having half the loading time. So I'm going to stick with the hacks. So I'm not going to go ahead and update. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this portion of the video. That's pretty much all I want to talk about. So now let's go ahead and discuss the backup managers. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over three of them. The Gaio Manager, the Rajiro Manager, and Multiman. Um, right up front, I, I prefer Multiman because I um, have Gran Turismo 5, and I ripped it to my internal hard drive because it, there's a file on there that's too big for an external that's formatted FAT32. So uh, the Rajiro and the um, Gaia manager, for whatever reason, I can't get them to see my internal hard drive. I don't know why, but Multiman does see it. So, But I'll show you all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the PS3. Okay, so my PS3 is now off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you'll see it boot up. So like I said earlier, this is going to be kind of like a run through of the backup managers. I'll be using Multiman, but I'll show you guys how to install them in case you don't know. I've been getting a lot of questions, so here we go. So here's the PS3 starting up. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. So here's your app home PS3 game, and install package files. Here's Grand Theft Auto 4. That's the game that's currently in there. And as you can see here, here's this is like the Rogero Manager and multi-man. So if you noticed before I said I was going to do the Gaia manager, so where is it? 
well, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So you want to go ahead, and I'm not going to provide links to these. Just go ahead and Google GIA, GAIA Manager, and you should find it. Or you can Google Multiman, or just, just Google PS3 Backup Manager, and I'm sure you'll find one. And you want to go ahead and extract it. Make sure you have the .pkg file on the root of any USB flash drive that's formatted FAT32. Once again, formatted FAT32, very important. And you want to go ahead and put that into your PS3. Now come up here to install package files. And it's this one. Now yours just probably won't be called like this. It might be called something completely different. But I'm going to go ahead and install it. And now you have the backup manager right here. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, you, you can experiment with these. I'm not going to. But I'll be using Multiman. Now this is also another question I've been getting a lot is you'll try to load the backup. You'll go in here and you'll hit X and it just won't load. It freezes, you get black screens. Well, in the description, I'll provide links to this and this. You need both of these in order for this to work. So you want to go ahead and run the level 2 patcher. It'll come up to a white screen and just hit X to quit. So it's just a very simple thing. It just writes a few files temporarily to the flash memory. So go ahead and hit X and it'll exit. Okay, so now once it comes back to the cross media bar, you want to come and go ahead and go up to the permissions fix. This is also important, so run this. And now after you do this, you won't get any freezing issues unless the game you have isn't compatible, which I know there's some out there, but the majority of them should work. So this will just launch and exit right away. You can see it'll come back to the cross media bar. Okay, so now you're ready to play your backups. Once again, run these first. <laughs> That's where a lot of people have been going wrong. So now I'll go ahead and launch Multiman. Okay, so now once once it launches, it's going to download the covers for your games. So that's what's in the drive now. As you can see, the one down is Gran Turismo 5, but it has that underscore in front of it. This program is really smart, so that if it has a file that's greater than 4 gigs, FAT32 doesn't recognize it, and the program knows that. So instead of saying it can't do it at all, it'll put the... It'll, it'll kind of extract it into separate parts that are under 4 gigs and put them on there. So if I were to have this and I were to copy it to my internal hard drive, it would automatically rebuild those files and make it playable. But if I were to try to load this right now, it's going to give you an error saying you can't play split games. So, so however, I do have it right here on my internal hard drive, so this will launch. I also have Black Ops and Little Big Planet. So I'll go ahead and I will launch Black Ops. So to do that, you simply hit X. This backup manager does have other options. There's also, I think in, in uh, Rogero and in Gaia Manager, they have an FTP server, so you can automatically transfer files over your network from your PC or Mac right to your PS3. So that's very, very helpful. So there's, also, there's other options to patch and check, but really, you probably won't need those unless you have a difficult game. So to launch this, I'm just going to simply hit X. And that was a menu where you could just uh, launch it right from there without having to go back to the cross media bar. However, a lot of games don't support that, and it gets kind of messy, and you get issues. So I always just prefer to take the extra 26.4 seconds to go back to the cross media bar. So now if you go up, what was Grand Theft Auto 4 is now Black Ops. It's just a simple like emulation. So we're going to go ahead and launch Black Ops. I'm going to go ahead and not update. And here's Black Ops. So that's pretty much how you get the backup manager working. You'll have, you'll have to do very similar steps. But it should work for you guys if you follow those steps. So hopefully this clears up a lot of questions. Because I've been getting a lot of questions about the backup managers. But yeah, here's Black Ops. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. And I'll go ahead and eject the disc. Holy 2 liter of Mountain Dew. As you can see, it's Grand Theft Auto 4, not Black Ops. So I hope this helped you guys. I hope you have a better look at how the backup managers work. 
this is I hope hopefully going to be a good resource for you guys to learn how to use the backup manager on the 3.55 custom firmware and also to kind of update you guys as to where we stand in terms of the 3.56 firmware update so don't upgrade if you want your hacks upgrade if you'd rather have online over hacks basically the story for right now and one last thing before I go I was contacted by a friend on Twitter to kind of collaborate and so we got a website going. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing content there. I'm sure it'll have others in the future, but for now it's kind of just like a small website. So guys, go ahead and check out itechcity.org. My posts will be there regularly. I mean, I'm sure he'll do a lot of blog posts. And eventually, hopefully we'll have a very nice community of people. So go ahead and check him out on Twitter, right here, and in the description. And also, I am at CPU Kid on Twitter. So go ahead and follow both of us for updates to the site, for our content everything like that. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up is always appreciated. Go ahead and check out itechcity.org and I'll see you in my next video.